over here and I'm bringing, I'm bringing you a video. Now, as you, I kind of already have a few people, few of them. I am going to be making myself. Now, I know you guys probably haven't seen me, and that's all right. I'm actually going to be... Oops, hold on. Sorry about that, guys. Um, I kind of only have like the thing in my audio devices. Oh, I don't know. Sorry about that, guys. I don't know if you guys can hear, but there you go. Oh my Back on the breaking news, leading with unconfirmed reports of a smallpox small outbreak. outbreak is a highly rehearsed scenario. The National Guard units converging on a hospital in Central Bridges are closed. It's more than a is a very real more danger. More than a goal. Let me stop you there. This is not a panic situation. An entire American city. Green poison. Central Park has been converted to a mass barrier. Power outages, gas line leaks, fires. The government's expecting another night of widespread looting. The people of New York are begging for more. The first responders are either dead or no resources available. They treat them like animals. It's not a job. We're not trained for. When we were activated, we knew the situation was bad, worse than anyone knew. We are an elite, highly skilled group of embedded agents. They only call us when everything else has failed. We have no rules. We have no limits. Our job is to protect what remains. We are your co-workers. We are your neighbors. We might even be your friends. But when we get the call, we leave everything behind. We are the division. All right, hey guys. Um so, um, we, we are going to be starting a new series called The Division, and I think that we, um, I'm going to be doing, doing some side missions, um, I'm going to, I'm going to do one, one real, real mission, and then, like, maybe, like, a couple of side missions, and we're already three minutes in, I'm going to pick a male, let's pick a face, oh, man, no. This would probably work if I can change the skin tone. No, I can't. All right. And I guess this would work. Yeah. Hair? Alright, let's go for hair. I'm more like this. If you guys see my hair right now, it's like almost. At school today, I had this pink out. So basically, I have like a bunch of pink in my hair right now. Well, I'm just I'm just gonna put it blonde.
Pull it around dark blonde. That yeah, that would work. All right. I don't have any tattoos. I don't have any scars. So accessories. And I want to add some. I mean, I'm gonna add, add some glasses because I don't want it to look exactly. Like, well, I want it to look a lot like me. I actually don't have facial hair. Right here, no facial hair. I don't even have that, but you guys. Well, let me change my face. No, oh my gosh, male. Are you are you freaking kidding me? Are, are you are, are you are you for real? This would work. Looks a lot like me. So, I'm gonna go to the glasses. Oh, I guess this is our agent. All right, authorizing agent. I just need to add some swag. What other plates? Attachment system and the computer is activated. All ISS systems are controlled. And guys, so, um, alright, so, I am actually going to, um, so, here's what's coming right up, right, right, right around the corner. And I'm, I'm actually asking the infant work for Legacy Edition. So once I get um, um, Modern Warfare Remastered, I will make, I'll probably make, I'll probably make a campaign on that and an Infinite Warfare. Almost everyone's wearing the same glasses, like all three of us are wearing the same glasses. That's pretty funny. We're losing this whole neighborhood. Riders are moving through, in force, and headed this way. Put your people there. I see someone else got the call. I'm Agent Fei Lao, Division. Activated at the same time as you, part of the second wave of us going in. I don't know what happened to the first wave, but unfortunately, there's still lots left for us to do. We don't have much intel, and we don't have the luxury of failure. Not with Manhattan under lockdown and Brooklyn on the brink. People like me, and you. We're what's left to hold the line. With any luck, we'll have more to go on once we rendezvous with the commander. More about the situation, about who's turning the streets into a war zone. Anything that's gonna help us do what we're supposed to do. If you'll excuse me, Lieutenant. Officer Hazen and his team are handling situation reports. If you're looking for a hot spot, that's who you want to talk to. 
Now, uh. Alright, so I haven't played, uh, I'm only on level 3 on my, uh, on my first character, but I, I am going to make a prediction. I think maybe she might turn bad. You know what I mean? She might, she, she might be like, alright. What the hell? This is like way too much work. I'm just gonna turn on the bad side. And then all of a sudden, we're bad. We're under, we're under, we're just, we're just destroyed. I mean, so. Thank God you're here, Agent. I've never seen Brooklyn like this. We're barely hanging on. I'll be your point of contact for any emergency ops. We've had plenty of action and it's not letting up. Jesus, I'm not gonna have any hair left when this thing is done. I barely have any hair. <laughs> hey, you gotta see this. What is it? Talk. Nobody's got a better selection. I have to be level three to get all these stuff. You're kidding me. I'll be here when you change your mind. Warning. You are now leaving the safe. Isaac can intercept wow. transmissions from locations on the map. Did you see that? So like, you can get a little more intel on where you're getting into. Look, I couldn't see anything. Could you guys see anything? I couldn't. Alright, can't go there. Alright, so where are we supposed to go? Alright, we're supposed to go over here. Agent! Riders took the weekly food supply from the Brooklyn Heights distribution center. They try and sell it back to all the starving people. Playing this simple practice hearing on the backs of people who are suffering. Get that food back. Oh, you guys, um, just let you know, I got this from Redbox, like, a couple weeks ago, so. I'm a little sneak attack. They could just unlatch all all the latches. I mean, honestly. That's it. I was saying, I might not be able to finish the whole campaign since I got it. So I might just do like a couple of things until my parents say I'm supposed to.
Can you imagine having to live through this? Where? I don't even see any. Oh, I see you. Not quite done here. Just give it Look at that cowboy in there. Finally. Well, thank you so nice much. That hat. Was, was terrifying. Now I need to get the hell out of here. Alright, I'll walk well, behind you while you walk down. Don't worry. Gotcha. Want to exit? I just want to see what they do. They're like best friends. Probably are. You guys might be wondering, like, like, didn't you already play this stuff? Like, why, why, why do you think it was cool to see a cowboy in there? Haven't you already seen it? And I think they change every time you do this mission. Um, you know you guys can just like, when they die, that would be so funny if they, like, how did they not get hurt but yet I did? They're indestructible! They are seriously indestructible.
Agent, those rioters have stolen a crate of morphine. Probably gonna try and sell it or use it. We've got people in real pain who need those drugs. See if you can recover that crate. I can't believe no one has commented. I don't think anyone watching us. Oh, they're good. They're good Sparrow 5 is on site and ready to engage. Target is visual. No more hostiles detected. Great work, I'm not level 3 yet. We'll no. no. Alright, guys. Alright. I'm actually going to wait until I get level 3 and then I'll end the video because. Is that a little mission? Is that a side mission or we're grateful for all the life you saved? Why don't you come on back here? We got a little something for you. Like at first no I'm not I'm not gonna spoil surprised. Not really surprised, but Yeah, I'm surprised, but I think I'm gonna want I think I know what you're thinking about. What you're thinking they're gonna do. But I'm not gonna tell you whether or not it, whether or not they're not gonna do it or not. <laughs> I mean, maybe when I get this. Hey guys, um, I don't know whether I'm gonna get, like, um, I don't know whether I'm gonna do like a a destiny um a, Nes a destiny um gameplay campaign thing. I don't know. Oh my gosh! I wish we could just steal a car like in Just Cause Three. That would be like so much easier. My hands are getting kind of hurt. My thumb like pulling it down to sprint. Got a piece here that's calling your name. Fantastic work, Agent. I think you put the lid back on this place just when it was about to boil over. We all thank you. And I wanted to say personally that I've lived in Brooklyn my whole life. So what you've done means a lot to me. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Agent. We just got a distress call from one of the local police precincts we set up as a distribution hub. They're being attacked by rioters. Getting word they're planning on trading hostages for drugs. You 
need to get in there, eliminate the threat to the precinct, and free any hostages. Right, cool. We got a hell of a selection. What? Well, got well, guys. Um, I think this is where we're going to be. Um, stopping the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, please like and subscribe. Like, like, please just like and subscribe. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed it, and bye.